for all you guys who get mad that I roll the windows down in every car that I get in. It's probably because these cars sit in the sun and they're like 4,000 degrees on the interior. What's up YouTube? Today is Monday, July 11th and I am inside of a Range Rover Evoke, I think. It's like the small four-door Range Rover. The coolest thing about my new job is the fact that the variety of cars that we get is so diverse. It's like, oh, one day we have a Porsche 918 and a Pagani Huayra, and then one day it's like, oh, we have a Range Rover and a Huracan, then it's like a GT3 RS, and it's like, there's so much variety that every day it's something new that I don't expect. So it's really fun for keep looking at myself in the viewfinder, I'm like, where's all my hair? I decided to get a haircut because in San Diego, by my work and where I lived, it was like 70 degrees every single day. So it was never like a big issue about being hot. But out in Costa Mesa, we're like a little bit inland. So throughout the day, it gets hotter and hotter. Like right now it's 91 and it's like pretty much full effect summer. I have really thick blonde hair, obviously from like being from the Midwest. My, my head gets really hot so I shaved a bunch of my hair off which I look way different but honestly I feel a lot more comfortable. Um, I feel a lot more cleaned up. New city, new look, why not? I have to shoot this Range Rover and then I'm really really hungry. My coworkers were talking about food this morning and <laughs> I realized I didn't eat much yesterday so I want to go and get some food and then I want to go stop by the dealership at Iluso because I need to get some photos for social media. Um, I haven't talked too much. You know what, hold on, let me just shoot this car then I'll come back. There's one spot that I always shoot at, and today it's a little bit, it's its like uh, over, not overcast, it's just the shadows. I went shopping yesterday at Pac Sun, and they have like a huge line of long t-shirts, and man, these things are so comfortable. Now that at my new job I can wear a lot more relaxed outfits, I have to find more casual clothes, because all I have is like business stuff, so Pac Sun and Tilly's, man, I bought so much crap from there lately. Getting ready for my new apartment to be ready to move into. And once that's done, I'll have a gym. I'll have all my access I need. Very excited for that. Yeah, it'll be a little hard to shoot here, but whatever. I'll shoot this thing real quick. This is a cool little car. I actually like this a lot. These are kind of cool. I mean, it's like a little mini Range Rover, but the only problem is it feels kind of slow. The engine's kind of like, if you're looking for a comfortable car to drive around town that's probably really good on gas, that has a lot of room, and I'm assuming for a Range Rover this is priced like decently maybe? I don't really know. It has some little pickup to it though. Come on, I know, I know, I know, I'm only driving 10 feet. Look at this, uh, look at this little shifter thing. That's how you put it in the park. That window's still open. Anybody who works in the exotic car industry, there's a few things that only, well, 
I guess owners would know. Since I'm in cars every day, Lambos, Ferrari, Bugattis, whatever it is, I get the worst wedgies. So now I'm gonna go to Iluso and I guess I'm gonna see what cars they have. Man, I'm hot. I really want to go take some photos for social media, for Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And I may do a video later on about the updates for what it's like to run a social media account or social media department for a brand because there's a lot that goes into it that a lot of people don't see. And I figured I would share that with the world because so many kids and people, and I mean everyone in general is just like how do I get your job and what do I do to get it? And if I do get it, what do I do? <laughs> There's a lot to it, but I want to share kind of an insight, I guess. If you guys want to, comment below and let me know if you want to make a video. If you want me to make a video on how to be a social media marketer, I guess. Because you can apply it to any business. But obviously, like, I love cars, so I want to stick with cars. So, let's go. Showroom is packed right now. I didn't even see this thing. That's the rain cover for the Mercy Lago. Looks hilarious. There's the Porsche from the last video that I had done. This Wraith is really nice too. This actually showed up right when I was leaving last time. That I can't show. See what else we got over here. Nice ML. Here's the AMG GTS, Speedster, and Bentley. I was in the dealership taking some photos, and a girl walked in. I heard the door, and it was my friend Sasha that I hadn't seen since I worked at Lamborghini Newport Beach. Really trippy to see her, not gonna lie. We we're really good friends, we have a lot of history together. I drove by here yesterday, or no, last week, and I swear there's a Waba, oh, yeah, I see it, for sure. There's a Waba grill here, it's like flame broiler. I remember this whole plaza, or like this whole area used to be nothing, and then when I moved, they had just started construction on it, and now there's like hundreds of places, well, not hundreds, but probably like 50 places. There's all this stuff, man, yeah, it's a, I've never been to Waba Girl. I've always seen like the online coach and Christian Guzman and all those guys go here, so we'll check it out. Hello. I guess you can basically choose like a meat, protein, and then your carb source. It's really macro friendly. Yeah. yeah, that might be. Yeah, I think that yeah, as long as we can organize some kind of structure behind the ambassadors, then uh, we'll I think we'll be better off. Oh man. I gotta crop the zoom in there. What the heck? For real? sounds like in person because everyone that I've talked to they're like oh yeah your exhaust sounds good like but you can hear a lot of engine noise which is true 
But in person, when I went to the Quickly Irvine car meet last Wednesday, and when I went to Cars and Coffee, although like the Lambo Newport show, so many people were like, dude, it's so much louder in person. I had a friend uh, car spotting over at the Irvine Spectrum or close to, I don't know, South Coast Plaza. And he's like, dude, I thought it was an Aventador. Cause at low idle, it sounds like a V12. It's a really deep rumble. But I just finished up at Iluso and also having lunch at Waba Grill, which, you know what? Waba Grill's pretty good. The only difference is the chicken. It feels like, or it tastes like the, the way they prep the chicken. It's just like a tad different. It's nothing major. It's just like, if you want variety of chicken and rice, it's good to switch it up between flame broiler and, uh, look at this. So I have to get across the street, but there's five lanes. Oh my God. There's nobody. This never happens. Literally, there's not a single car. Oh my God, I got so lucky. That was so lucky. That never happens. There's one more thing too, is that I wish I could show the cars that I see. Oh, you guys probably saw that, a glimpse of it. I shall park right here. That's one thing also, I mean, there's so many things that I wish is that ugh, I can't show all that right there. Um, I can probably show that. So a lot of the cars that we have, so a lot of the cars that go in and out of Lambo Newport, I mean, obviously my office is right here at Lamborghini Newport Beach and I'm, I'm upstairs, but there's so many cars here that I'm just like, I want to film so badly, but I can't because I got in trouble for it. It's okay, I'll shoot my own cars. It's delicious. Awesome. This chance, this chance. Now. Um, I would love, love to see your. <laughs>